Now, what do you think when I say pole dancing? I was exactly the same. But actually, apparently, it's poles apart, sorry, from uh, the old sleazy exotic dancing reputation. And these days, ladies of all shapes and sizes are doing it. Apparently, it helps self-esteem. So they're even talking about introducing it into schools. So I thought, well, why not give it a go? So I'm here with Emma. And uh, I can't believe you've got me wearing these little shorts. Oh, I'm sorry. Everybody <laughs> hates wearing shorts the first time. Um, it's best to wear shorts so you can use your skin to grip the pole. It will make it easier on your muscles as well. That sounds very painful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first of all, the self-esteem thing. How on earth does this help somebody feel better about their body. I can't, I can't tell you the last time I felt this self-conscious. Of course. Um, you tend to find on the first lesson, nobody knows what to expect. Um, and when you break down a move and show them that it is doable, they tend to leave, you know, just empowered and thinking, oh, I can do this. Um, because obviously we start right from the very beginning. Right, well, let's do that with me. I'm okay. an absolute beginner here. So what's the first move that you okay, would show so me? this is the absolute first move. I'll show you and then I'll break it down for you. Easy, so, easy. Let me show you how it works. <laughs> Strong hand high. Okay. Your inside foot is close to the base. Right. Your outside leg is going to lean out, pound on, and wrap both legs around. So you're going to grip onto the pole in between your knee and your hip. So right in this fleshy part here of your thighs. The more you squeeze with your thighs, the easier it is on your arms. She doesn't have a fleshy bit on the inside <laughs> of her thighs. So um, if you just um, squat down, okay. the pole, just so you can get a feel for how it's going to be when you're spinning around. So that's the position you need. Very to elegant, spin. isn't it? <laughs> okay, are you ready? Yeah. So, strong hand, nice and high. Okay. You're going to have your inside foot close to the base. Yeah. Outside leg leans out. Pop the other hand on and go for it. What do you think this does for you in terms of self-confidence, maybe even body confidence? Yeah, it's definitely made me more confident in speaking to people at the gym just because I love it so much. It's like a hobby for me. Um, instead of like exercising, it doesn't feel like exercising, meet new friends. But yeah, it definitely made me more confident. The one thing that worries me about this, you know, introducing it into schools, how is this not objectifying women because of its previous reputation, but also, you know, wearing the little clothes and the pole and... Yeah, I think it's always going to have that CD stigma attached to it. But I do think it's very comparable to, like, a gymnast or a ballet dancer. Um, it can be very acrobatic. Um, it is, isn't it, actually? Yeah, it's very acrobatic. No, you know, they're talking about putting pole dancing into the Olympics, which is, you know, really great news. So people can actually see what it's really about. Um, like I said, it will have that CD stigma attached to it, but it's how you perceive it. Right, so what's the next move then? I've got that one mastered. Okay, so we'll go a little bit harder. So okay. A mini climb. So both hands just above the head. Yeah. You're going to place your leg on the pole. The other leg is going to come in front. So you're going to pull yourself up, bringing the hips in, uh -huh. and then you're going to come down. Okay. So let me talk you through it. So both hands just above your head. I could become a fireman after this, couldn't I? Yes. Okay, place your leg on the pole. So it's the uh, inside of the foot, outside of the knee. Perfect. Yeah. You're going to bring this leg over the front. You're going to pull up on the arms and bring your hips in. <laughs> so really use those guns. Ah, ah. Pull up, pull up. <laughs> what would you guys think if this was introduced as an Olympic sport? Oh, definitely. Fantastic. Yeah. I mean, really, it brings together the grace and beauty of dance, but it's also the strength of gymnastics. I mean, if, if gymnasts can be in the Olympics, why can't pole? I'm not really sure how much grace and beauty there was to my performance, but it certainly was impressive to watch the others. And who knows, we may just get to see it in the 2020 Olympics.